Okay, in the last class we <coughs> studied the angle of uh, torsion when the object is uh, under pure uh, couple moment. And as you can see in example in the equation 10 15, the angle of torsion in radian is equal to TL over JG, where uh, T is a torque and length is the length of the part of the specimen that is under torsion and J is the polar moment of inertia and G is the uh, shear module of elasticity so also there is a version of this the same exact formula when you have variable cross-section either the area or the property and that equation is in fact in general in the form of equation given in 10-14 that is equal to phi is equal to and phi is the angle of uh, twist or torsion is equal to the integral from the beginning of the object to the end of the object of t of x times dx over jx gx so as you can see those equations are same as long as you have same distribution of torque or material property or a constant cross section over the a part of uh, uh, the beam so uh, now we want to solve some examples of uh, application of this formula so in order to solve some examples uh, we already solved I think two examples in the last class before uh, this problem of uh, coronavirus uh, showed up so now we want to uh, solve more examples so let's go to this section uh, for example F109 uh, the first problem let's solve this example it says as you can see here a 60 millimeter diameter steel shaft is subject to the torque shown below so as you can see there are two couple moment or torques at point A and B and which have an opposite direction and the beam is fixed in the wall and say determine the angle of twist of end A with respect to C okay and it gives a constant of uh, shear module of elasticity so uh, let's go to the nodes and start working on this problem so I'm gonna make a little drawing of this uh, problem let's uh, let me find this so we have here this fixed to the wall so let me draw it here hopefully if okay all right it, it works a point B And here, bolt to the wall, point C. And here, I have 2K, Newton meter, point A, opposite direction, 3K, at point B. And this distance is... <coughs> excuse me 400 mm from here to here is 600 mm uh, this uh, torque distribution given and what it wants is to find let's see if I can get another color here is to find the angle of deflection at this point let's say this phi angle of def deflection at point A and all we do as I said in the class let's see if I can get rid of this uh, panel right here yeah okay all we need to do right now is to draw the first thing is to draw the torque distribution diagram like the way we did for uh, the axial load shear load couple moment now we can also draw 
a torque distribution diagram. So let's say this is positive, x positive, and now we want to find distribution of mx, okay, with this positive given sign. So if uh, I cut it, let's let's draw a 2D version. 2D version. This is wall. This is your x, and then you have a couple moments here. 3k and there is one another here 2k and this two is station 3k 2k and x positive and your x is measured from here so let's cut it this is your x let's cut it from point c this is c b and a let's work first on between point c and b between c and b I have this cut. So this is the co uh, torque in the wall, MC, and this is torque at point X, which is we should we should show it with this sign positive, MX. All right, and I don't I don't know this, and also unfortunately right now I don't I don't know MC. So before I solve this, let's first solve for the reactions in a wall. So if I take a torque, this is MC positive wall reaction. Okay? And I, if the value is currently unknown, then I can simply take the entire thing as my system and draw FVD for that. So doing so. Uh, let's let's t get rid of this thing here. I really hate this thing. There we go. Yeah. So if I do that, <coughs> then I, I realize if I write summation of moment about the x axis for this system is equal to zero, then I get M C positive, and then three K is also positive according to the sign. <clears throat> that we chose this direction so 3k is also positive then um, negative 2k is equal to 0 we solve for that then we get mc is equal to negative 1 kilo newton times meter that's what you get by <clears throat> taking 1k positive to the right excuse me <clears throat> Then we get uh, this result. So that means MC, if I can get my eraser here, MC is equal to the other sign. The sign we chose was not right. So here, if this is negative, then I put it the other way, like that. And is positive, is negative 1k Newton meter. You just flip the sign. Or you can take this initial sign and put negative 1k. Both of them is okay. But for simplicity, I just put it uh, the other way. I just flip the sign and I put negative 1k. Bo both work. So here in this uh, part right here, all I need to do is to put it this way. 1k. The other way. And then... Uh, I solve for this system. Let's take another color here for this system right here between point C and B. I solve for MX. So if I write the equation for this part, summation of moment about the X axis is equal to zero, then I get negative 1k plus MX is equal to zero. And that would give me MX is equal to. 1 kilo newton meter positive so if I want to draw the curve here that's your x that's your m x from here to here I have let's use green I've never used green here from here to here I have positive 1k <coughs> positive 1k. Now I go ahead and cut it between B and A. So if I do that, 
So this is between C and B. And then I go ahead and cut it between uh, B and A. So if I do that, then I have, I just extend it a little bit like this. So I already have 1K here. And then uh, at this point, let's get this um, here, right here. At this point, I do have uh, 3K, a point like that. 3k and then here I'm gonna have a positive MX and don't forget from here to here the point that you cut is simply X we measure it from left so 1k 3k and uh, MX at that particular cross-section and that's pretty much all of it from B to A all right so if I write uh, <laughs> If I write uh, the summation of moment about the x-axis is equal to zero for this system, then I get negative 1k plus 3k plus m of x is equal to zero. Then m at point x is equal to negative 2k. Right? So let's put it on a curve. We need a green. So from here to here. I have negative 2k there you go it's negative and from here to here was positive 1k <coughs> so let's go up a little bit we put this back we need a black color the back all right so all I did in the second part, I cut it between B and A. Again, the reference was from the wall, this X that you see here, right here. And in the wall, we had 1K negative with the sign given. And uh, then we have a 3K in the middle and unknown MX. And all I did, I just simply wrote the summation of moment for this system. The second system is zero. And then we have negative 1K plus 3k right here plus mx0 and then you solve for mx and you get negative 2k and I put it on the curve so <clears throat> now I want to go and use the equation that we drive for the torsion and that equation was simply phi is equal to integral from beginning to the end t at x dx jx times gx we draw it in class so let's break down this integral from c to b and then from b to a in fact i can say this is equal to integral c to b t of x dx jx gx plus integral b to a integral b to a tx dx jx gx so all i did i'm using exact same integral but i'm breaking down this integral between c and b and b and a and this 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 equation that we see right here is mathematically Correct, right? So now, this integral, if you consider this integral, you see that it composed of term torque at location x. And we see that torque at location x is equal to a constant. And also, the uh, diameter is same, so j of x is also a constant. And also, the material property is the same, so this constant. So simply, I can take this integral by bringing all this constant out and simply take this integral which is equal to t from c to b times l c to b divided by j 
C to B times G C to B. Similarly, I go to the next term and I write T B to A because torque, you see, look at here. You see this curve right here? The torque is con constant negative 2K. So I can take bring it out of the integral. T from B to A times LBA divided by J B A times G B A. Okay? And now all I need to do is to, is to substitute these values here from uh, is to substitute the values here. I probably I should have shut down the notification from Gmail and YouTube and what all. But I'll improve this presentation. The more I do, the better I do it. All right, so all I need to do is to substitute these values from the torque diagram that I have here, right here on the top. You see this torque diagram? Right here. All I need to do is to substitute that, those values from the torque diagram. So I go ahead and substitute. Torque, the first thing, right here. I'm working on that. Torque from C to B. What is the torque from C to B? Is positive 1K. So I write 1, don't forget, that's K, 10 to 3, times LCB, the length from C to B. Right here is 400 millimeter. So when I substitute back here, I say this is multiplied by 400 and I convert it to meter, 10 to negative 3, divided by J from C to B. And I know I go to the uh, appendix, you don't really need to memorize it. It says J, polar moment of inertia, is equal to pi over 2 radius to the fourth power. So all I need to do is to write here pi over 2 times the radius. So what is the radius here? Let's see if we can go back to the question, definition of question. It say a 60 millimeter diameter. That means the radius is 30 millimeter. I put here 30 times 10 to negative 3 meter to the force power. Don't forget, we usually say we think that this area we put second power, but this is you see the formula right here? Force power. So I put four here. The last thing is to put Shear module of elasticity. The shear module of elasticity is equal to 75 gigapascal. See here? G is equal to 75 gigapascal. So we go back and say 75 times 10 to 9 giga. Mega is 6, giga is 9. So that's it. That's for this term. The angle of deflection from C to B. Now we, I'm not done. I need to also add this term in order to finalize the solution. So I say plus torque from B to A. So I go back to the torque diagram right here. I see that the torque from B to A is negative 2K. So I put here negative 2, 10 to 3, times LBA, the length from B to A, which is 600, you see here, 600 millimeter, which is 600, 10 to negative 3 meter, converted to meter, divided by JBA, I'm using this term, times GBA, right? JBA again is pi over 2, 30, 10 to negative 3, 4, because J is the same along all objects, times G. is made of same material, so I put the same value here, 75, 10 to 9. Okay, that's it. So let's put it in the calculator and put the final answer 
right here. So if I let's see if I I need to grab my cell phone to put it in calculator. <coughs> Here, all right. One, eight, three, ten to three, uh, times four hundred, negative three divided by. Put it here, half of a pi times 30, negative 3 to the fourth power times 75 e9, okay, then negative 2a3 times 600 a negative 3 600 a negative 3 divided by half pi times 30 e negative 3 To the fourth power times seventy five E nine. So the final answer is negative zero point zero zero eight four. Okay, let's see in fact I have a little bit more accuracy here in my calculator. Let's add more accurate result <coughs> here which is let's get rid of this thing here a negative zero zero eight three eight don't forget this is angle when the formula what you solve for angle is by default it gives you radian then you can optionally this optional you can convert it to radian so in order to convert that to radian, you multiply by 100 over pi. So this thing is in fact is equal to negative 0.48 of a degree. It's tiny. It's very small. This is the final answer. Okay, so. I'm going to solve more examples 